everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I have quite the unboxing today. Now, I'm not wearing any ears because I have brand new ears. I also have a lounge fly, which is just there. This side is just an assortment of all sorts of goodies. But I wanted to start with the ears because I normally wear ears for an unboxing, so right now it feels a bit strange. Once Upon a Craft UK, who I will link down below as always, I'm obsessed with her ears. They're kind of 3D printed ones. I tend to let her have kind of free reign with them I'll say to her this is kind of the idea I want have at and she always does them perfectly so I asked I went with the balloon pair and I said kind of like whites and pinks whites and hence this shirt this shirt doesn't match anything else in the unboxing but it matches the ears so that's what we're going with today I have had a sneaky peek I wasn't restrained enough not to and I'm obsessed apologies if you can hear my voice going my voice has been in and out for the past month so apologies if halfway through this I start spluttering I'll edit the splutter out though because no one wants to hear that tissue paper look at these they are just beautiful I figured you can kind of wear them around Valentine's birthday because of the balloons or just a generic adorable pink and white outfit with different Mickey balloons and that beautiful bow in the middle and then the headband is pink as well but I love them so I thought I would start with those because then I can just put them on and hope hope that they're in the middle they kind of feel in the middle and they're so lightweight as well like you I mean sometimes if I move my head too much they might fall off but they don't push behind your ears which some of the Disney parks ears do push and you can only wear them for maybe an hour before you have to take them off I wear these all day sometimes I even forget that they're on my head they are that comfortable lounge fly backpack so again this outfit doesn't really match anything else but I wanted I wanted to match the ears today right up I believe that this what well, how much did I pay for this one? Oh my goodness I'm gonna have to think now aren't I I wanted to quickly find the email so I got the price exactly right so geek core have an outlet section and it, there's kind of all different potential issues with these backpacks but you get them for cheap so oh it doesn't tell me what the retail was on this one I've just shown you what it is no uh, the retail was probably around £75. I paid, including shipping, £39.65. So £35.66 just for the backpack. Let me bomb that down there. And it said that there was a scratch on the front. And now I can see it, but only if I really, really look for it. If you just look at it from the front, you can't even tell. So I've got this for less than half price for something that I can barely see. So I'm a happy little bunny. You've already seen which one it is, that was just me holding it up. Oh, here we go. There is a bit of paper on there as well. Slice mark front pocket. What I think might have happened is, you know, sometimes when things are packed in a box and you use a box opener, it's, it's so faint. And honestly, if I didn't know to look for it, I probably wouldn't have seen it. So I'm a really happy little bunny. I'm a happy rabbit. Where's rabbit? I'm a happy little bunny rabbit. It's Winnie the Pooh! And he's... Oh, I, I love this one. The colours, the design. I just love it. So we've got the Disney Alliance Fly badge up top with Pooh Bear and Piglet. Both of them up there. Then at the bottom... Now, there is a purpose for this one. At the bottom, we have Christopher, Robin and Eeyore. And then, is it Kanga? So we have Kanga and Rabbit on this side. Now, just really quickly, we do, oh, I'll show you the back in a bit. We do have Tigger, but he's on the back. Okay, in May, the Liverpool Comic Con, the guy who voiced Pooh Bear and Tigger, amongst many other characters, Jim Cummings, is going to the Liverpool Comic Con in May. So in my head, I was thinking, well, I have to go meet him then, and I would like him to sign a Winnie the Pooh loungefly for me. So I was scouring online thinking, which one? Because I, I do have two. No, I have three. Do I have three? I have three, but none of them really have a good place for a signature. I have... My bestie got me this one signed by Jodie Benson and that has a good section there for a signature so as soon as I saw this one I thought to myself they're holding a blanket just here that blanket is completely plain you can sign right there on that blanket so that's the plan don't know what color though sorry if you can hear the tag on the back so I'm gonna need suggestions of color wood a red sharpie it would obviously match Pooh Bear's jumper would that be too much I don't know yellow I think would fade it needs to be something that's a little bit darker just so you can see it because I want to see it 
but then if there's like a silver or a gold oh gold maybe for like honey I mean I've got a while to decide but I'm gonna need help deciding because there's so many options so that is the front of the backpack they're holding that blanket and oh, we have gopher as well oh, miss gopher excuse me we have a little gopher at the bottom so the plan is to get Jim Cummings to sign that for me and if I wear a Winnie the Pooh shirt I've already said like I think I said it to mom if he then sees how much I love Winnie the Pooh and does Winnie the Pooh's voice I may just be an adult and have a little cry about it why not but he's voiced many other characters as well but Pooh Bear and Tigger so this beauty's coming to the May Comic Con with me also I'm taking if you've seen my videos before mom has a Lord of the Rings lounge fly and she got Sauron well the guy who voiced Sauron Salah Baker he signed it at the top there's a lot of Lord of the Rings people, actors, or people, going to the Liverpool Comic Con as well. So I'll be taking Mum's Lounge Fly to get more signatures. Which ones I'm not 100% sure yet. So it's going to be a day of Lounge Fly signatures, isn't it? I haven't decided if I'm going to vlog that day or not. I might or I might just do something really quick and simple. That is a future Hannah decision and it de depends if my voice is back properly. Skith. Anyway, the back. The back, then. the back says, truly they're the heroes of the day. And we have Tigger! I probably shouldn't sing because my voice will go even quicker. We have Tigger bouncing on the back. And I just love it. I love this backpack. The only person that I don't see is Rue. I don't see Rue. He's definitely not on the back or the bottom. So we don't have Rue. But we have pretty much every... Oh, or Owl. So there's a couple of characters missing. But that is fine. All the main ones we have. So I'm going to do a 360. So it has the most, it's like very subtle colours. The main colour is like a beautiful sky blue. And you've got this lovely sort of brown colour. It's like a very pastel sort of brown colour. Have a look on the inside. And then we'll have a look at the as well. Oh. Oh. We have an inner pocket. Oh, that was a strange bit of inner packaging. Let me shove that further over there. We have an inner pocket. It is a slip inner pocket. It's actually that's a really nice cream colour. So it stop it. It's for the twenty fifth. This there's a honey pot. No, it's not twenty fifth. As soon as I said that, I knew it was wrong. Goodness, ninety fifth. There's a, 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 a excuse me. Restart the brain. Restart the sentence. There is a honey pot, and the ninety five years looks like it's in honey. I really like that. And Winnie the Pooh. We have Tigger, we have Piglet, we have Eeyore, we have Pooh himself. Is there anybody else? Pulling funny faces, let's try and look in there. Oh, I really like that. So, there it is. Beautiful cream colour with that back pocket just there. Can I bend this front part? Oh, probably not if I just do that instead. And hopefully that's showing up. With the 95 as the honey pots. 95 years old! My goodness, that is, that's quite old. Silly old bear. Let's check the front. Oh, the design continues down the front for that bit, if that makes sense. So you've got kind of the background of this that continues down, but then that side is the same as the inside. Does that make sense? It made sense in my head. So fingers crossed it makes sense to you as well. I'll do one more 360. Because I love it and I can't, I'm hoping that kind of Jim Cummings really likes to see it as well and maybe he's not signed a lounge fly before, maybe this will be the first one. We'll find out. I always plan what I like to say to people when I meet them, but then when I meet them my brain just goes and I'm just like, ah, hi. So awkward. Right, uh, next. There's a mix here of things I've bought and then a couple of things I was sent. So I will first, oh no. I'll first show the things I purchased from, and I will link them down below, from Dolwix. Hopefully that's coming up, but I will link them down below anyway. Where's I put that? Pop that there. Don't want to lose it. Three new wax melts. One of them has already gone. It was that lovely. We have Sailing Away, which did smell like... Does it say on the back? No, does it? It's like... It's the generic kind of oceany vibes because sailing away, cruise, cruise, obviously. Live your dream, which is based on Rapunzel herself, Tangled. Now, I'm gonna, I am not great at describing 
smells. So we'll see what I can do. This one is very floral. It's like a sweet floral. That's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. <laughs> I am just, I'm not good with explaining colours or smells. So, apologies. This one, this one is self-explanatory. Coffee at the castle. That one, ooh, she's going to smell just like coffee. And maybe even a castle. Oh, open it the right way. It smells just like a coffee place. And I really love the designs as well. Okay, so I bought those three. Sailing away, got used straight away. And then she was very lovely and sent me a nice little care package with, oh, doll wigs again. But like I said, I will link her down below. I've used a couple of her room mists before and I actually have used this one before. She was at the Magical Market. Was it this year or the year before? Don't remember. My brain's gone mush. And it was actually this one that I bought, the Grand Hotel. It's like a room mist and it does smell. It's got that kind of deluxe resort smell to it, nice and fancy. I did buy the big one. Beautiful. So I'm very happy to have another one of those. So these ones are the ones that she very kindly sent me. Oh, this one, spinning teacups. And she said, when you do an order, I can't remember over, over the certain amount. I should check these things before I speak. Then you get a little kind of tester one to see if you like it. Spinning teacups. Now I can't, I can't really smell through there and I don't want to open it yet. I'd rather, I'd rather burn it first, but we'll find it online. Sailing away. I love it. And this one's like a big chunk of the wax. Oh, I don't want to, there we go. The last thing I want to do is do this and then it goes everywhere. That wouldn't be very good, would it? So I've got sailing away again because I've still got the Disney cruise blues. That was a rhyme. As I said it, I thought, that rhymes! Disney Cruise Blues. I just want to go back. I love it. Just, the Disney bubble is just wonderful. Not me kind of planning a Disneyland Paris trip for this year. <laughs> hint, hint. Those who know, know. This one. I was going to do... If this was smell vision and I could kind of waft, waft the smell. Fortunately, I cannot. This one is Royal Sweets. Now, my sense of smell right now is not the best. That's the excuse I'm using. This one's more of like a flower floral compared to a sweet floral. It's more flower floral. I'm I hope that makes sense. It smells so nice. It almost smells a little bit Christmassy to me. Just a very tiny, tiny cinnamony type hint of Christmas. But look at the, it's just the most beautiful pink colour as well. And last night I very nearly started to burn this, but then I suddenly thought, no, I need to show it first. So, this is getting burned rather quickly. Righto. Oh, so that is doll wicks. I will pop them down below, like I said. Okay, I am probably going to waffle a bit after I've shown these next bits. So feel free after I've shown these bits to stop watching. Let me just grab... Oh, aha, I put one hand under my leg. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Right, Little Beasties. I will link them down below. They were at last year's Magical Market. I remember that and I grabbed a couple things from them. I purchased this shirt the other day and she very kindly sent me these parts along with it. And the most lovely note that I will read in a moment. I'll just keep them on my lap. Keep them on my lap. I've had... A turbulent couple of weeks, shall we say. I'll get onto that in a bit. So when I saw this shirt, I thought, well, this is perfect. I was going into a bit of a villain era rather than princess. Anyway, this beautiful grey sweatshirt that says woefully ever after. And it popped up on my Instagram. And I thought, well, if ever there was a sign to buy a shirt, this is it. You can kind of custom the colours, so I believe you can pick whether it's on a t-shirt or a shirt, or sweatshirt, the colour of the sweatshirt, the colour of the print. Actually, was there a glitter option for the print? There may have been a glitter option, but I know what I'm like. I'd end up over, ironing over it and then make a mess. So, woefully ever after, and then it says, the world is a place to be endured. And it spoke to me. So, I bought it straight away. Now I did go with medium as the size. I 
ones like this i like it when they're a bit oversized and i'll probably wear this with leggings and boots big stompy boots when i'm feeling a bit villainous again but it's just perfect and then the back is plain so i'm ready woefully ever after and there was a beautiful note right i'm gonna pop that just there and then i'll show the goodies ties in with my wonderful pb card just here Pop that there. Um, excuse me. Huge love, Hannah. I'm so sorry you've had a rough time, but you are amazing. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Love, Sarah. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Whoever you are watching, don't let them. Love, Sarah. So, thank you so much. When I read that, I did start to tear up. In a nice way, like happy tears. And then it says, P.S. I hope you like the extra little bits. Thank you for your order. The new Park Band collection drops the 8th of March at 8 p.m so 8th of march 8 p.m get on little beasties this means linked below that's what that is actually can i pop this card here next to ariel oh it's gonna fall right oh perfect now this one matches perfectly with the lounge fly backpack look at this it's perfect it's PB and it's honey and there's, there's even little honey bees and I absolutely adore how on the lid of the honey pot PB's ears I love it look at that red colour and it's like a beautiful canvas tote bag sort of material I love it what I like to do obviously you go out and about shopping on your lunch break you buy something and they're like do you want to pay 20p for a bag so this is going to go in my lounge fly now and I'll be like no thanks I already have a bag because reuse and save the planet but I just love it and actually I've got another PB lounge fly up there that's red and they're like the perfect matching set it is plain on the back but then that beautiful PB design on the front I love it and I love that there's little honeybees as well and they've got a face kind of like mm. they're just happy little honeybees because they've got some honey okie doke next we have shall I have I'm gonna unfold future Hannah will refold everything later what kind of co what colour would I say this is like an ocean blue teal blue I'm thinking what backpack does it match it matches the teal blue crew sequin so we're going with the teal blue whoop flip that over look at this and it's got the genie's lamp with a puff of smoke I love it I just I love these designs there's some sparkles on the top as well the back is plain so it's kind of like when you get the, the pocket designs on the side, but it's beautiful. And these t-shirts are so soft as well. So they are going to be very comfortable. Righto. Next up we have, I nearly said Lello. Childhood days. Lello, yellow t-shirt from Turning Red. Is it Mei Lin? My mind has gone blank. I believe it's Mei Lin, but she's a Tamagotchi. I am a 90s child and I had a Tamagotchi. I was very upset when I got home one day and it was no longer with me. As in, you get it, I don't want to say the word. But look at this, who else had a Tamagotchi? Am I showing my age now? How old do you think I all am? Be kind. I might not tell you my actual age, but I'll let you guess. Well, look at this, and the back is plain and yellow again. But I love it, it makes me want a Tamagotchi now. Should we bring Tamagotchis back? Although, the amount of time I spent on it, probably not. What is this one? This one, what did we say this is purple? Would we say purple for this one? I'm going to go purple with like a hint of blue. A tiniest hint of blue, but purple. We'll start at the back. The back is lovely and plain. Now it says, we scare because we care, but the A is Mike and Sully. I love it. So we have Mike Wazowski and Sully just there we scare because we care actually in Disneyland Paris there's a Monsters Inc section isn't there can you actually scream into the thing there I know what I mean I'm sure there's a little section where you can scream into the kind of screen jars so that is perfect for that see if you go into Disneyland Paris you like Monsters Inc you've got to get this shirt you just have to and then the print which I feel like I might frame it and try and I've got a section, I know you can't see this bit, but just there, I have like a nice free section. So it might have to go there. Happy place. 
because this room is my happy place with all my bits and bobs. Actually, where is it reflecting? There we go. Oh, we're reflecting. And it's got loads of kind of the park icons and the rides on there. And the print itself is a beautiful blue colour. If I hold it up next to my shirt, hopefully you can see it's like a like a baby blue sort of colour. And we have the castle there. I love it. A little beast is like I said, I will pop them down below. They don't just do Disney things, so if you want to see other magical stuff as well, look at that. I do th I think I'm gonna have to get that framed. Right, now I'm going to waffle a bit. Nothing Disney related, it's work related. So let me just move these bits. Feel free to sign off here if you don't want to hear me waffle. Ah, uh, so when was it now? Two weeks, was it two weeks ago? Time has flown past. Okay, I'm not gonna say where I work or anything like that. It's not, like I don't want to seem like I'm complaining. So where I work right now, it's like my voice is going up, just, just had a cough which I'm gonna get rid of. So you won't have seen that bit. Where I work right now, I, I'm fine in the job that I'm in, like I've not got any problems with it, but I would like to be in a different, like the department I'm in is split up into a few different teams and I feel like I would be better placed in another team. My manager knows I'd never keep him in the dark. So I've had a chat with the other team's manager about like I would like to move over, all that kind of stuff. So I've been working a bit closer with this other team. Oh, excuse me. My voice, goodness. A position came up for a junior role within that team. It was still a higher grade than I'm on now, but a junior role with no experience needed. So I was thinking, perfect. Like, this is my perfect way to get straight into the team. Obviously, I already know where I work. I know the team already, all that kind of stuff. Everything was looking great. I even bought myself a nice pink suit. I'm going to pop a picture up of that pink suit because I really liked it. Primark's finest. I tried maybe like six ones on and I thought, oh, I like that. I didn't want to go with just like a standard black suit. I thought I want to kind of stand out a little bit. There were a couple that I tried on that were just awful on me though, but they just didn't fit very well. I'm quite short, so the legs were monstrously long. Anyway, getting sidetracked. So I had an interview for the job. How long ago is it now? Maybe two, two weeks ago now? I don't even remember, about two weeks ago-ish now. And it was on a Friday afternoon. Now I have had this raging cough that's been going on. It goes for a little bit and it comes back. I have asthma as well, so on top of that, it's been an absolute nightmare. My voice, one day is fine. The next day it's a bit croaky like this. The next day it's just gone. Can't control it. I'm kind of living on my inhalers and all that kind of wonderful stuff that you don't really want to know about. So I let them know beforehand, my voice is very in and out, I'm coughing quite a bit, it wasn't COVID, wasn't that, that's fine, it's just whatever this cough is coupled with my asthma just making it worse, yay for me, that I still wanted to attend, because obviously I, I've done a lot of learning for it, I was ready, weirdly enough, I, I've, been, I've had loads of interviews before and been incredibly nervous, this one I wasn't that nervous for. Don't get me wrong, I had those feelings of, oh, it's happening. But it was more excitement than nerves for this one, if that makes any sense. I felt like the interview went fine. Now, I did have a coughing fit halfway through the interview. They were very lovely and grabbed me some water. But I thought it was fine. I mean, I feel like everyone does this. After an interview, you kind of sit down and then think, oh, maybe I should have said this instead. Or maybe I should have worded that that way. And you kind of get in your own head about it. But overall, I felt quite confident. Um, and they said I would find out early the following week, which now was uh, like two weeks ago. We'll just do that. So now another problem that I had as well, and I think this is why it hit me more than it would have normally. I had a couple of days before the interview an absolutely raging asthma attack. And I don't know what happened, but I felt like a tear just under here or like a pop. And I have pulled a muscle all across here. So anytime I would move, breathe cough sneeze it it was really looming painful to the point where like getting up in the morning was quite a task and it wasn't pretty so coupled that with the fact that i was already feeling quite ill and then i've got the physical pain as well i didn't get the job which normally i wouldn't well, i say i wouldn't have been phased normally i would have taken it okay i've been to however many job interviews in the past and yeah you always think oh, okay well never mind what could i have done better get the feedback all that sort of stuff whereas i think because i was feeling sick and i kind of made the mistake of starting to tell myself 
like this is mine now this is my perfect way in I'm envisioning it everything and I was putting myself mentally into it already and starting thinking okay I can do this I could do this I could do this before knowing that I was obviously rejected so I didn't take it the best and I just got in my own head and you know when you get in that vicious cycle of being sad and then thinking I'm annoyed at myself for letting it annoy me and then I was getting even more annoyed at myself and my voice is going again excuse so it was just that vicious cycle and I just couldn't seem to break it in my head <coughs> excuse me I like I'm fine, I could talk about it now, but I was going through that whole, oh, I didn't, I'm like, I'm not good enough, I wasn't worthy of the job, all that malarkey. And what did upset me as well was I was told culturally was fine, because obviously I already know the team, I know where I work, the department, all that kind of stuff, so culturally I was like a great fit for it. But someone who had been doing that job externally already, not as a BA, as, not as a junior, got the role. So I think in my head I'm thinking, but why would someone who... Now I know this probably sounds a bit silly. Why would someone who's doing the job apply for a junior role of the same job? Like in my head that just didn't make sense. Um, obviously for where I work it's great because they're getting someone fully doing it for the cost of a junior. So from their perspective it's fine. Like I've got no issues with that. But in my head I was just, I was just too in my own head. Coupled with the fact that I was hurting, that I was coughing and spluttering, so it was a bit of a mess. I did pop it on my Instagram stories. And I want to say the biggest, biggest thank you to everyone that messaged me and sent me cards and goodies. Because you've a lot of you have made me happy cry, which I'm fine with. I like happy crying because that's good and that's nice. But yeah, so it's one of those things. Some things happen, some things don't. And like I said, if I wasn't feeling so icky and gacky, you just move on fine. But moral of the story, don't put yourself in a job that you don't know if you've got yet. So, I mean, I'll learn from it. It's one of them things. But a massive thank you to everyone that sent me the lovely messages. It really has made a difference. And then last week, I had another coughing fit and I've torn this muscle this time. So all across here, when I cough and sneeze, that's all right. So does anybody know what I can do for this? I've tried having, I don't have a hot water bottle, but I've got like a flannel and put boiling hot water on it and just kind of held it there to try and help maybe heat the muscle I don't know if that's a thing I'm taking painkillers but because I'm not stopping coughing I feel like it's kind of re no, I don't think I've torn the muscle because that would be quite different but I think I've like heavily pulled it so I feel like I'm re-pulling it every time especially every time I sneeze oh that is not pretty so if anyone has any tips for how I can help with like a pulled muscle it would be greatly appreciated well thank you if you did make it all the way through that very long waffle. I know I can be a bit dramatic at some times but this bit's the worst enemy isn't it? But it can also be your best friend. But I, I don't know what's my favourite from all these goodies. I tell you what though I cannot wait to wear that woefully ever after sweatshirt. That might be like the perfect Halloween outfit as well. Ooh villain ears woefully ever after and then I've got a Halloween section up top just there I'm doing the I know you can't see it but I have a Halloween section up top just there I'm kind of wishing the year away already aren't I but I also cannot wait for the Liverpool Comic Con to hopefully get this signed and see his reaction too because I feel like I might ask him have you ever signed a lounge fly before if he hasn't it means I'm the first so I mean I just can't wait for that let me know if you're gonna go to any Comic Cons this year I'm planning so far Liverpool in May, Telford in June, my brain, there's a Manchester one in July, so far I might not go to that one, but the Wales one in August, so definitely, well, how many have I said now, so May, June, maybe not June, so definitely three, maybe four, I need to do better on my counting skill, don't I, but thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!